In Roman Britain, there were two walls that had been built by the Romans, Hadrian's Wall and the Antonine Wall. Here's a bit about them and some of the differences between the two. I'll start with Hadrian's Wall first, as it was the earliest one built. Now, just to throw away a misconception some people have, that is the line of Hadrian's Wall. That is the border between Scotland and England. The two aren't the same. And in fact, you can even make the point that Scotland and England didn't exist at that point. But just in case you thought that it became a border between these two countries, it didn't. Anyway, back to Hadrian's Wall in the Roman period. It was started in 122 AD and stretches for around 73 miles across northern England. In fact, at the narrowest point, which makes sense. But calling it a wall somewhat simplifies it. It was far more complex than that. It was actually a series of fortifications of different sizes, and these blended well together, and they were changed during its construction. So it was very much a complex thing. It took advantage of a natural feature that occurs in northern England, a sill, which meant that you could build it at a higher level than everything around it. And it's beautifully exampled uh, by here. You can see how it runs across and takes full advantage of the landscape. The Antonine Wall dated a few decades later, as you can see, AD 142, and it was by Antoninus Pius, who was then the Roman Emperor. Antoninus had a bit of a problem. He didn't have much military credibility. So this was more of a vanity project. This wall wasn't really to support anything other than what he thought he could do to showcase his worth as an emperor. The Antonine Wall occupied what is effectively a choke point in Britain. It's actually one of the narrowest parts of Britain. It's only 37 miles in length because that's all it needs to do to cover that bottleneck. And it differed from Hadrian's Wall, not only its dimensions, but what it was made from. Not stone, but turf. This is actually a photo from near Rough Castle, and you can see a lovely ditch there, and that's obviously part of the wall. The Antonine Wall was also a less permanent affair. In fact, there's evidence to suggest that troops were redeployed from it back to Hadrian's Wall by the end of the second century AD. Like this kind of content? Why not click follow? Or just leave a comment? Or both.